You chose the tree farm. Once again, I'm the only admin on the server who flies and stuff, and I'm not dragon. I'm a different dude. Hey, where's you, Super Go? Oh, I'm in the tree farm. I thought you would have came to the back door. I don't know nothing about this place. I th I thought it was somewhere else when I said that anyway. <laughs> Oh, this is your tree farm. I'll edit that part out. No, it's just a tree farm. Got my axe in here, along with all my saplings and bone meal to grow stuff if I'm in a hurry. And that's all I do. Oh, and your leaf farm, I guess. Yes, this axe is like a silk touch axe, so oh. sometimes I end up demolishing leaves. Awesome. Yeah, it's not intentional, but... You know, it is what it is. Well, I'm just awesomeing out your silk touch axe. Well, it's not really necessary for anything. All you use to get is wood. You don't need silk touch for that. Oh, here's that picture that was on Facebook. That's right. Should I get into position again? Yeah, you should. Everyone will. And then I'll take a screenshot. Yeah. Did I? Without my armor. Yeah. Oh, you had to say it. I wanted to trip people out. <laughs> it's like, yep, yeah, we just went back in time. So that's an old machine you made, and back then there was things like glowstone to help the redstone get up. Yeah, that still works. The The mechanical part of it works. It just seems very glitchy, and it doesn't work the same way it used to be. So that's why I built this, the, the farm that will work on its own. And you got all this sideways wood and stuff, eh? Yes. That's cool. Is very nice. I haven't used any yet, but I like the like that log, this floor uh, from the outside looks really nice with the sideways log. You can make sideways log cabins now. Yes. Look at that. It's fascinating. That's great. Oh man, I'm gonna stop making this video <laughs> and make a log cabin. Just click down wherever it says to see my log cabin. <laughs> <laughs> and then Picture return to this. Your toilet. Yeah. Okay. And does that conclude it? Oh, look at this. Step one. Step two. Step three, four, five. Step one and two. Off. Step six. Step three. I think you got your steps Switch. out of order. I think you can't read. Step one. Step one on. Step two. Step two on. It says three. switch. So step one. Switch one on. Step two. Switch to on. Oh, step See how three. Those words are different? Wait for we. Step four. Switch number three on. Whoa, really? You go one, two, then three. Yeah, it's like in order of operations. Turn off switch one and two. Would you like to see this thing in operation? Yeah, we better. Why else are we here? Okay, so we're gonna it's see. Close enough to be harvested. He flips the switches right. Okay, I do this all the time. So he's number one. Does his bottom row. Oh. And he just wait okay. for the wheat to come to the center. Okay, wait a sec. And then all right. switch two. We'll do the top layer. Oh, that's wonderful. And you collect all the wheat. And then once that is done. You hit switch three, which cuts off the water supply, and it resets the pistons. Then once you turn switch number one and two off, you turn switch three off, and the water goes back to flowing downwards. Oh, how nice. Oh, I see. You use the same water source for both? Yep. Oh, I guess that makes sense, but wow. And essentially, you could make this modular. Like, this could be ten layers high if I, I wanted to. I noticed that with that water system. That's great. You'd have to have a hell of a lot of switches. Yes, and a lot of redstone, and it would take you, like, an hour to plant. Yeah, I'm happy with an 8x8. Eight eight. <laughs> I go through, what, like a half stack of food a day. You fat. <laughs> no, I work it off. You muscular little man. <laughs> All right. All right. So I guess I'm um, now back to where we were. Woo!